Hey, how's it going? Well, whenever I use this red lighting behind me, it always makes me think of the classic Pizza Hut restaurants. The old ones. I mean, supposedly there are still a few classic ones around, or they've even got the the, the lighting that looks like, uh, uh, it, it's it's like a Tiffany lighting, but it, it, it actually says Pizza Hut on, on the, you know, and all that stuff. But I also think of the, the glasses that they use. They use these red plastic glasses and and it just it's it's yeah it's, it's stupid but anyway i've heard people saying that israel is a fascist state i think that's kind of weird because people in israel are free to live whatever kind of lifestyle and have whatever beliefs they want as long as they're not hurting anyone else israel is pretty much the only country in the region that represents western values I guess one of the problems is that you could say that not all of Western values are that great. And the way we defend our values isn't always necessarily that great either. But we do generally pride ourselves here in the West. We pride ourselves in being open-minded and welcoming. Over the past six or so years, there are some people who have become so welcoming and open-minded that their brains have fallen out. Uh, But that's a different discussion altogether. Having said that, I think Israel is being completely disproportionate in their responses to the October 7th attacks. What's the number now? 9,500 Palestinians dead and like close to 3,000 of them being children? Or at least like under the age of 17? Now, maybe those numbers are inflated. How do we know for sure? And I understand that Israel's reasoning is that Hamas may release the hostages and give up if they're being absolutely decimated. But is it realistic? And can that be considered in any way moral? Or ethical? Yes, it's war, but... (sighs) And yes, I get that Hamas doesn't really care that much about Palestinian lives. They're willing to do just about anything to keep power. In some ways, Hamas's tactics are incredibly intelligent, but they're completely morally bankrupt. I get that if Israel does a ceasefire now, it will completely destroy some of the leverage that they currently have. But no matter how you break it apart, it looks like genocide. You know, Israel's actions are really hard to support, even though if... Like, I lived somewhere like in Gaza, I would probably be killed by, by the Hamas government for being gay, you know? And some people have told me that it's not right at all for me to judge the humanity of a group of people based on whether they're tolerant of people who have lifestyles or beliefs they disagree with. Strange how we're coerced into having different attitudes about different groups based on whatever religion they happen to believe in. You know, you're of this religion, oh, you can be bigoted. But if you're of this religion over here, no, you can't. It's just weird, the the different standards we have. Look, I don't particularly believe in colonialism, but I do believe in Israel's right to exist. And and perhaps I'm believing in, in something that No other country, you know, is being given that kind of right because they're essentially wanting a form of nationalism that would be unacceptable in (laughs) other parts of the world, particularly Western countries. That doesn't make them fascist, though. But yes, I believe in Israel's right to exist. I believe in Palestine's right to exist even though the common culture there probably doesn't believe in my right to exist. There was a post on X that was asking people if there was ever a country that they wish you could just select and hit the delete key on. And uh, I poorly worded a response to it saying, well, I don't believe in deleting any country, but if I could do a, a, a cut and paste, you know, I would cut and paste Israel to somewhere that's safer on the globe. I didn't word it very well, but still, you know, I, 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 I wish they could be somewhere that they're not so hated. You know, their neighbors don't hate them so much, you know. I mean, I sincerely wish Israel wasn't surrounded by so much anti-Western sentiment. 
I mean, I get why so many politicians here in the United States feel like it's their duty to defend Israel. You know, as I said, it's the only country in the region that truly promotes Western values. But does that make it right? At what point should we consider Israel's actions to be unacceptable? When should we consider it a genocide? I don't know, but it's certainly on my mind. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Thanks.